As we go about defining a model of computation, we're actually going to need to provide two different components to, to formally kind of describe what's going on. So those two things are going to be the representation of that model of computing and then the execution of that model. So the representation is basically how do you actually write down an instance of that model of computation and the execution is going to be how do you process that description in order to actually perform some computation or, or perform the, some function. So if you think back to like the Python example, the representation is, is basically like the Python syntax. You have things like for loops and variables and, and function definitions and, and so forth within Python. So those rules for the types of characters that you can put in and the syntax rules for Python and so forth those are sort of the representation rules. Now, the execution rules are basically how Python is going to take that text that you put in the program and then interpret that is with the interpreter or the compiler of the program. So what functionally it means when you had typed those things. And we're going to see for every single model of computation that we have, we're going to see these, these two components like we had with Python. So when we look at these Boolean circuits, we're gonna see that we have a representation of the Boolean circuits, which is essentially going to be a graph where the nodes are going to be gates and the edges are gonna be wires connecting those gates. And then we're going to have an execution model for how we can have those gates evaluate their inputs and provide outputs for other gates.